I am Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and in this video I'm going to show you the design process I went through to come up with the quilting ideas for the strawberry basket quilt. I'm going to show you the way I normally do with several different design ideas for the blocks and for the background and then I'm going to show you the ideas that I'm leaning towards and how I worked through that process and how I came up with those design ideas. I have the strawberry basket quilt loaded on my machine now and I wanted to do a little practice to come up with a couple of ideas for quilting on it. <clears throat> now these little squares here are one and a half inches and then we have the basket and then this is the background. Now every background and every block has these stripes of some kind. They have some kind of stripe in the background. And um, then the squares are um, either this navy blue or a cadet blue. And the base or the basket base part is the same fabric, this dark fabric. And I don't know if anything I can do is going to show up here with my pins, but I'll give it a try. Now one of the things I think about when I have anything like this that looks like a nine patch or a four patch, I do, I think of crosshatch. Um, and one of the easy ways to get around crosshatching is to um, get your way through on in the ditch. And what I'm doing is I'm going point to point through the squares and then just going across the block. and hitting the ditch to get to the next section. Now I just need to go across, hit the ditch again, and then across again. And then just follow that ditch down to get to my next quilting point, wherever I want to go. Now the, um, with these stripes, if these, this, this one is laid out well where the, these stripes all kind of meet. So we've got the same number of stripes in the same orientation on both sides. Now I don't know that that is true for all of the blocks. Um, it's true for this one and this one, this one and the one next to it, but the third block over it is not. But one thing you can do is to choose one of these stripes and just stitch in the ditch between it um, like this. If your stripes are, if they line up evenly on both sides, that would work well. Like that. If they aren't lined up evenly, then that you just have to ignore your stripes and just put your spacing in there. What I believe I'm going to do is to do a feather in here and I'm going to put my spine like this and then I'm going to put my feathers in. Now this will have uh, a little more dense quilting than what I did on um, the Friendship Star quilt. So this one will be a little bit more labor-intensive and time-consuming. And you can you can either draw these arcs in freehand or you could use a template if you've got one, uh, like a, a circle template or an arced ruler. You could use either one of those to get a more consistent arc in there. And just do the other side. And of course I say this is my plan, but whenever I start quilting, you know, sometimes I change my mind, so. Okay, now I don't know that I can draw anything in here that you're gonna be able to see, but this is an option here. Um, just doing some straight lines in a, uh, like a quarter inch apart, following the edges, the outside edges of that triangle. What it would look like would be like this.
that's one option. Another option would be to um, bring all those lines to this point here um, and we'll just do this, kind of divide it up into sections. So if, if you go like straight up and then come across and do two and then it will go across this way like that. So what I'm doing is I'm going from the center to the tip over and down and then over and down again. And then all of my blocks, I always stitch in the ditch around my blocks. So these edges will all be tacked down and we don't have to worry about any of this puffing up on us. So that is, that's a couple of possibilities there. Now another possibility for this part of the quilt would be continuous curve. And we would just go through the quilt like this. I do the outside edge and then the inner seam there and we can do that all the way around and then come up like this there's lots of different ways to get around a block when you're doing continuous curve like this and one isn't any more right than the other they're just different ways of doing it And so that brings me here and then we can go across and it gets me to this point here. So that's another possibility. For these, the section here, um, with it being an odd shape, you kind of need something that's going to fill this. So you could, al you could also cross hatch this and you could follow your piecing lines here. And I cannot draw a straight line today. But these are like one and a half inches. So what I would do is to place my ruler, excuse me, along that seam and then quilt it there. For, for this section where you don't have, the piecing doesn't come right, the seam does not come right there. So you could have that. You could also, um, cross hatch sideways and if you have a ruler with a 45 degree angle that would help a little bit more but I am going to follow the points of those blocks from here to here here to here like this and then follow that spacing this direction forever how however wide that is I'd have to measure it and I'm, I'm just guessing as to how wide those are like that so you have cross hatching two different ways this, these are the bigger one and a half inch squares these are a bit smaller because you're going point to point so you're cutting this in half so those are about well, how big are those? They're about an inch. So we have these are an inch, these are an inch and a half. So that gives you a different look. You could also do your continuous curve in uh, these pieces. You could also just do an outline stitch in these if you want to and I would probably do it like that and you can do the same here just to outline this now if that, this was hand quilted I'm not sure how they would do this actually um, a lot of the vintage tops are just an overall cross hatch across the entire quilt top without regard to what the piecing is and sometimes they just do cross hatching in the background and then outline quilt the piecing in it. Um, they could do um, oh, a pattern like a Baptist fan. 
some kind of an arc design. Now if you want to, you could do a feather design in here. What if we do, let me demonstrate on this little piece here. And I'm gonna adjust the camera. There. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate in this piece here so that, um, because it's really hard to see what I'm doing on this black. If we wanted to do um, like a feather design here, we could start and have a guideline marked. These would be really tiny feathers the way I'm doing them here. We could do something like that. We could also do larger feathers like this. Just put a bigger feather or petal in the center. Like that. We could do, uh, instead of doing a teardrop here, you know, start with a circle and then build your feathers around it. And make those feathers as large or as small as you want. And then you can just do a one-sided feather. That would be, you have to choose which, which way you want your feathers to go. Um, if I start here, these feathers would come out this direction. And you can do that on all of your, you could just reverse that here. And I don't really don't know if you can see that. You could do that. Okay, if you want to do s something more geometric, uh, let's try doing something like this. Let's just follow the contour of the piece. And we could do something like this. This would give it a more kind of a modern look. And that way you're not really following your stripes, but you are giving it, you're kind of emphasizing the stripe pattern in the fabric. So you'd have a look like that. And you can put as many rows of quilting in there as you wanted. Now for triangles, um, there's lots of different things you could do with triangles. You could do, uh, let's do a heart. You could repeat that in each one of those triangles. You could do the petal. And you could do a teardrop. We could put in, um, we could go with this direction with any of those designs. Like that. We could do a swirl. Something like that. And you could do a loop. That would be very minimal quilting there. That would go really fast. And let's see, what if we did like a loop and then do a continuous curve around it? You could do something like that. Okay, today I'm working on the strawberry basket quilt and I'm got some plastic laying over it. I've got the quilt loaded on the machine and now I'm playing around with quilting design ideas and I wanted to show you a couple of options that I came up with for the uh, alternate squares. So I'm going to adjust the camera and put it on the machine and I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, here's one of the designs that I've been uh, playing with, I wanted to do feathers in the alternate blocks, but I did not want to do another feather wreath. I have recently, well, I've done several quilts with 
for the race in the alternate blocks when they're on point. So I wanted to do something different, but I still wanted a feather. Um, this is one idea I came up with, uh, doing a feather plume and then cross hatching in the center. Now the cross hatch could, you know, go this way or this way here. Um, either way, I haven't decided if one way will be better than the other. But this is one idea. And then here's another idea. This is doing a feather plume, but instead of cutting these feathers off like right here and then doing a filler in the center, I'm bringing the feathers all the way to the center. So this, these cross marks here are my guidelines for quilting those feathers in. So uh, that is also an option. And I'm leaning more towards the first idea because it is a little bit more traditional looking than what this is. And this is a pretty traditional block. Um, it's from around the 1920s, so I'm, or it was made in the 1920s. It may be older than that. So I think I'm going to go for the more traditional look. And that would be this here. And I believe this is what I'm going to aim for. I have another option here. Instead of using, uh, putting a spine in here, use the arc, the outer arc, as the spine and just do a half feather. So we'll come in and do this. Now you can change um, these feathers and do any style you want. I want to do a curly feather. And you could do Um, let's do the same kind of feather. Let's come in and do something like that. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and quilt the feathers in and then come back and do a little filler. And so that would be coming back and just coming in and putting a little spine in your feathers. Gives them a little a little bit more dimension, like that. Then whatever kind of feathers that you like, you could do that. Um, I would probably go ahead and outline this by about a quarter inch to kind of separate it for, from whatever I put in the center. Um, I could do the cross hatching or I could do a fill. If I want to do like a swirl fill, I kind of like to do this kind of a swirl where you, when you hit the next swirl, you stop and you backtrack. Kind of makes them look like they are stacked one on top of the other. And just follow the line and just fill in here. Follow back over and then put another one in here. And just come back over here and do another one. When you get closer to the edges, you have to do a lot more backtracking against the the quilting that you already have in there. And I'm standing at an awkward angle here, so I'm kind of struggling to to get this drawn in, but there we go. 
and I think that would be pretty too. So I haven't decided. This is a more modern design. The cross hatching would be more traditional. This feather would be more traditional. But this design with these feathers would be more modern. So it depends on the look you're going for. And with this one, um, I originally felt I would do traditional with cross hatch, but I like that swither that I like that swirl fill, so I may go with that. I haven't decided yet. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my newest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.